This is it guys, if you've been following us for the last six months, you know that Lincoln and I took a special trip to Nike headquarters it in Beaverton, awesome. Oregon. It was great. Lincoln, what did you do out there that was super cool? So while we were there, I got to design my own shoes. Nike Air Max Nike shoe. Air Max shoes. So I got to pick the colors, the material, everything. Now, in December, the shoes have arrived. They're here. That was like six in months ago, box. maybe? Yeah. They're right here in this box. Okay, it's tell us right. your thoughts now, six months later. Do you remember what you were thinking when you designed the shoe? It was basically Tesla designed. Based off of our Tesla? That we had a while ago and we got rid of. It's been that long since we designed this that we don't even own the car anymore. Tinker Hatfield thought it was a really good idea because he thought that it was like the future of things. I love the color blue, so I got lots of color blue. And then the wavy lines come from a Tesla because a Tesla is electric and we have a Tesla, so I love electric vehicles, so. All the gray is uh, metallic silver, so going yeah. forward with an automotive finish and so feel. You get that real um, yeah, speedy, fast, automotive. Yeah, bye. Tinker, he said that he liked the colorway a lot. He was like, it's super wearable, it's super modern. And then he liked the inspiration from the Tesla car specifically because, you know, it's 2017. Electric cars are out there, it's a thing. And if, you know, we have a platform to talk about an uh, electric way of living that's a little bit better for the world and everybody in it, it's a great message to sort of send and as opposed to some other forms of inspiration to do something with a little bit of a message. It felt really cool. So now we have a white Tesla. Do you still, are you still going to like the shoes? Well, yeah. Do you need to design new Nikes now? That would be cool. But no, I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a big orange box. That doesn't look like a shoe box. I think that one might be Lincoln's. Maybe it's a special oh, one Oh, oh, oh. Don't, don't open them up them. yet, guys. So don't touch like, mama's shoes. Don't touch my shoes. Don't touch them. We'll have plenty of time to sort out whose shoes they are. Look on this. Look on this. Don't. It says Lincoln version. All right, here's the plan. Lincoln, open it up. And show us the shoe, and then let's get our thoughts. Like, what we okay? Wait, wait, wait. Disclaimer: They told us when we were looking at the actual printout of what Lincoln designed that it's going to look different in person a little bit than what it did on the picture because the materials are hard to convey exactly on the paper. Oh, they are really shiny. Scrub the deck and make it look shiny. I've never seen such shiny ones. It really does look like metal. It does. Yeah! Well, the alien guy. Back. All right, thoughts, Lincoln, thoughts. They are the shiniest shoes I've ever seen. Looks awesome. I love the Nike right here, like the font of the Nike there. Did you choose that? Is yeah, it different I did. on each shoe or is it yeah. same on both? Those are so cool. I mean, I really do think that this looks like metal. Yeah. Wait, I have a oh. thought. They smell amazing. This box is a special one. All right, Lincoln, this box is, must be specially for you. Let's see what it is. Lincoln Ooh. Markham. Lincoln, we hope you are excited about your Air Max Zeros. We are. Thank you for being a part of the air journey. Happy holidays. Best, the Nike Young Athletes team. I love it. Oh, sweet. It's not just because Lincoln designed it. Maybe it is. These are some of my favorite Nikes I've ever seen. I mean, yeah. they're a little flashy. I'll, I'll be honest, like I'm a dad that's like old, a dorky. No. And so they're a little bit flashy for me, but even with that, I think they're super cool. Okay, let's put our shoes on. <laughs> that was a lot of work. But it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You look pretty cool. You're fast. They're really cool. Yeah. And they feel really good. Can you slam dunk a ball in those shoes? That's the question. Oh, no big deal at all. Look at that. I normally wouldn't be wearing it with this outfit, but. Would you usually be wearing a fur with it? <laughs> no. Claire, how you feeling, girl? Good. Yeah. I love them. Let's see London's. Mine are small. They look small, but they don't feel small. Mine fit up great. Do yours fit, like, really? Yeah. Mine are perfect. Absolutely okay. perfect. Lincoln, do yours fit? Are they too small, too big? 
good. The question you might be asking is, can I buy some of these? I can already see the comments. All right, so if you want some of these, um, I don't have all the details, but I will update the description. So if you wanna look back in the description. But what I do know is that they're going to sell 500 pair of these, and we already have five pair for our family, so I guess 495. I might wanna get a couple more pairs, so because I'm not gonna stay size nine forever. Or will you? All right, so the deal on the shoes. They look really cool. They do look cool. If you wanna get some, they're gonna be selling them maybe in like a month or so. This is just a really cool experience that Nike let us do, and it's pretty amazing to have his own little shoe. So thank you, Nike, for letting us have this opportunity to like, you guys can buy the shoe. And then let us know in the comments, do you want us to cut one of these open and see what's inside of it? We've already done an Air Max before. All right, so anyway, thank you, Nike, for sending us these awesome shoes. That was a really cool experience. And um, yeah, if you guys wanna buy them, hopefully you can buy them soon. We'll let you know. Bye, old car. It's been good.